Welcome to the channel Adam's Adventures and in today's video I visited this peculiar building that I have encountered before which in this case is St. Conan's Kirk an architectural building that was set up being a chapel of ease who people cannot reach their own parish church convent of Lopeby. The building was designed by Walter Douglas Campbell it was then built from 1881 to 86 and soon extended to 1906 to 1914, the year of his death. Campbell also had another place that was designed for him and his private life near to this place which also used for his artist sister and mother stayed near Glasgow at the Blythewood House. The fittings of the building includes quite a lot of detail and artwork that was designed in an oddly way but interesting viewing. This combines of such a heavy oak beams in the cloister are believed to have come from the then recently broken up wooden battleships HMS Caledonia and HMS Duke of Wellington. An electric blend of church styles from ancient Roman to Norman it is built of a local stone. It consists of a nave and a chancel, with the chancel stalls being canopied. Large, unsmoothed boulders of granite from the nearby Ben Kirshan form the piers which carry the chancel arch and the transepts make the sacred cross. There is also a tower and a spire of this marvellous building. It just goes to show how much work has been done and left in such an astonishing way. Walter didn't get married and left no heirs, so it was up to his sister Helen Douglas Campbell to finish the building state before 1927, which would be her death. The Kirk was consecrated 
in 1930. Also three chapels within St. Conan's Kirk. The Bruce Chapel contains a carved wood and alabaster effigy of Robert the Bruce. The St. Bride's Chapel contains a carved effigy of Walter Douglas Campbell. The St. Conville's Chapel is dedicated to the fourth Lord Bliveswood. The metal work gates on the St. Bride's and St. Conville's chapels were made by Thomas Haddon. The church is a listed as a Category A building and we will become an icon for many years to come for future generations. This has sure been a hidden gem that I come across within my stay in Scotland.
thank you for watching and stay tuned for many more adventures in the near future. Please subscribe, like and comment would be much appreciated. See you on the next adventure.